are just waiting for the match to start. Which it looks like it is. We are going to Battlefield. And who are we going to be seeing? Definitely Pac-Man and or Me Gunner. Who else are we going to see from Nexus? I uh, would not wish on my worst enemies fighting me Gunner in bracket because it's definitely a matchup that is really foreign to most. But we're going to see the Pac-Man, a bit more common of a character. Um, also, I, I feel like, yeah, and also some Falco. Man. This is fun. We, we love Falco here in New York. Absolutely, for sure. And we're already seeing this Falco go ahead and be very aggressive, getting a little bit of an air and less trap situation going on. But CK wants absolutely nothing to do with that. He wants to go right back onto the other side of the stage. But doing that ends up with 41% done to you. Yeah, and see Caleb once again going to the other side of the stage, but a good grab call out. And I don't think anyone's really ready for Pac-Man to just run up at you. Ooh, and I wonder if that was intentional to get hit with the laser right there, because it then lets Pac-Man instantly pick up the fruit after. Uh, might be some matchup-specific stuff. Maybe getting hit with the laser is actually a good thing in this matchup. And not oh him just waiting gosh. for it to destroy it. That's literally so crazy. Yeah, C. Caleb is standing still, and Nexus is pressing every button saying, please come near me, and C. Caleb will refuse to move. But ooh, a good call out on that ledge jump. And this is a slight percent lead. Once again, bell in hand. And not going to get anything off of it. Absolutely. I definitely love the aggression from Nexus, however, they just need to make sure that they control a little bit more of center stage a little bit more freely just because of how much you know. Um, C. Caleb doesn't really want to approach, they want to stay in their litter corner and just get their damage. I wonder if going for a ledge trump with that uh, side B. Ooh, unfortunate grab whiff was right in the shield. And that dare out of shield really fast for Pac Man. Ooh, and a very nice call out with that up smash right there. Yeah, a bit of a bait, down tilting the Hydra and being like, hey, come and punish me, and then shielding it and up smashing. Ooh, very nice call on that jump right there. Gotta be very careful trading with their own hydrant and so narrowly spacing out of C. Caleb's aggressive landing options. I definitely love, you know, the placement of Hydrant has actually been working against Nexus, messing up a lot of their combos. We definitely know that a lot of Falcos have their famous Falco, you know, combos and whatnot, just putting on lots of aggression, but that, you know, Hydrant is absolutely going to mess that up. But it, what does it matter when you can put on 85% and have C. Caleb on their second stock? Oh, and this could be an up air. Yeah, look at that. Not denying to get um, away from the laser right there. Going to result in a true combo. But that, was a, that was a cute combo. Yeah, that was, okay. that was clean. Definitely, I'm not sure if it was true, but regardless, it was hard to expect. But that looked kind of true. And 54 already converting off the Galga. 62. You got to be careful if you're Nexus right here. You don't want to lose all that lead you just gained. But it looks like C. Caleb has some momentum going for him. Getting punished for interacting with the Hydrant right there. Has to be very careful because they are at 95% and they don't want to have to be at a very even percent against the Caleb when they've had such a good lead. Yeah, right here, this ledge situation is giving you a big chance for Nexus to try to regain some ground. Doesn't Owen oh, up being right out of that situation. Kind of tough for Falco to deal with that. Maybe with a jump side B potentially can get around that. Gonna oh, kill. Absolutely. And this they, is pretty much even now. Mm -hmm. I, we can see a little bit of them, like, not really controlling a little bit more of the advantage. Although they have been doing really well, they did have a really good lead. A lot of the time, they're messing up a lot of situations because of how much they choose to actually take Hydrant out. And if you don't know about the Pac-Man matchup, however you take out the Hydrant is literally probably one of your best win conditions because you need to make sure you remove Hydrant in a lot of situations so it doesn't actually mess you up in a lot of situations that it has been messing up Nexus. He's right here. Wow, see Caleb take, was down two stocks and now taking the lead. But right here, this could be huge for Nexus. Oh, I think see Caleb was trying to punish destroying that Hydrant. Oh, and almost killing poor DI on that up air. Very nice. Trying to air dodge to get out of that right there, but not going to work out too well. Very nice on Nexus's part. And that was, that was an okay game one. Definitely liked it.
Yeah, you know. both players had kind of streaks where they had like full momentum, you know, like and that resulted in a bunch of stock wide swings. But at the end, it was pretty much even last hit. It was just who can find that read. And see, uh, and Nexus down tilting the hydrant at the end to kind of bait out some option of fear from C Caleb. And C Caleb air dodging to that platform, gonna be an easy reaction to up smash from Nexus. Absolutely. And we are actually going to be staying Pac-Man. And Falco, period. Yeah, I'd imagine Falco uh, can kind of invalidate me Gunnery, even despite not knowing the matchup, just by using um, using the reflector really well to kind of smother all of me Gunner's options, because that character really totally revolves around projectiles, probably more than almost any other character in the game. Absolutely. I'm just going to see. Ooh. Ooh. Already 69, not even 69, 87% from the jump. And, and the oh dead no. bird. What a great response from C. Caleb after losing that game one. Showing no sign of giving up. And oh, the frame three Nair out of that combo. So devastating because that could have been such a like an important way to get momentum back for Nexus. Absolutely. Not oh, <laughs> very nice. Putting on some damage to the board. Very nice call out with the grab right there from the roll outwards. Oh, Ooh. honestly, you might have not want that hydrant there because that totally stopped your combo from that down there. So, might be a, a little bit of a blessing to see Caleb. Ooh, gonna get nared for your troubles. Trying to call out. Ooh, God. Oh no. We're actually seeing a complete reversal from the first game. See Caleb up two stocks and it doesn't look like they're ready to slow down anytime soon. And is that upper gonna take it? It's absolutely going to take it. You need that up tilt because see Caleb was about to start cooking a huge percent combo. Getting still 43%. Great jump right there from uh, Nexus. Stopping that grab. <laughs> And Z Caleb was just throwing out these F smashes. I mean, he he, he wants Nexus to kind of die. It's very understandable. Living a little bit too long. Very nice. Get up out of that. Trash attack is like not going to do too much, but we still have Pac-Man in a little bit of a loop. Oh, and wow. All right. Great call out. That was absolutely a great call out. Calling. Oh, no. No, I think not gonna you're going to live. Yeah. And I think Nexus needed that because Z Caleb was showing almost no respect. Just throwing out five F smashes in the center stage, being like, you're not going to punish me. And Nexus showing that you're not giving up. But with that, uh, Mango does not care about your laser. It will kill you. I don't know about that jump laser. <laughs> um, that was a little, little bit scary right there. We, we, were, we were in a moment. We, we felt something, and then we immediately felt nothing. Absolutely. I don't know. I still think, um, regardless, getting that kill might help Nexus morale going into game three. You know, it's mm -hmm. much better than getting like rolled with a three stock that could really like mess with your momentum. But Nexus was showing some fight at the end, so hopefully he can carry that into game three. I could see this being really close. Absolutely. Ooh. And we're just seeing ooh, the up air into. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see? Boom. Taking that stock with the hydrant reflected, period. And that's yeah. kind of interesting too about like the the properties of reflector. Uh -oh. I'm kind of curious to know if that would have still affected, you know, hydrant ending up actually making the hydrant Nexus's hydrant. Um, I I think what it does is make it. Honestly, you no. Know I'm not even gonna say because I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I I've done similar things when I play like kicks with reflector with Pac-Man, where I just kind of mash it on the hydrant, and it definitely makes it so it can hit uh, the Pac-Man. But I don't know if it makes it so you can't get hit. It's a good question. Well, actually, okay. Here's a better question: Is hydrant considered a projectile? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Like on a, like an objective uh, level, okay. but I, it's definitely a unique projectile. That being said. There's nothing unique about Falco gain 85% a few seconds into the game right here. Good Absolutely. stuff.
not gonna kill just yet, but we are in a situation. They were definitely trying to call out that Hydrant from disadvantage right there. Ooh. Are we gonna see the fair? Ooh, um, that was a back air right there. Um, but going for fair instead, that could have been the stock. So see Caleb on borrowed time right now. Ooh, Ooh very nice call out with the up smash right there, taking that first stock with only 55% five, on them, 63. And oh. You had two options. You could have rolled away, and you could have just done nothing. Yeah, that. That's, <laughs> I feel like you hit Falco's tippy toes with that F smash right there. Not that. even the tippy toes. That was more inside of the tippy toes. Hello. Falco Ooh. does like a whole like backflip into yeah. a kick into like a, a front wing slash and like freaking all this mess. Ooh. Oh my. Regardless, that's so uh, so brutal for Nexus because you've got such a good first stock, so much momentum, and then boom, you're dead at 54 to a charge pack with an F smash. Not the best option now, disadvantage going for that get up attack. And now this is a lead for C. Caleb despite that. Ooh, very nice tomahawk right there. Ooh, if they would have just landed, they could have definitely up smashed and make C. Caleb a little bit scared, but we had an up throw into fair. They've definitely been a little bit of these weird fairs, but is that absolutely gonna, wow. is absolutely gonna kill, period. Yeah, that was that was about like the percent where it would just start killing and great jump read. Okay, now can you hold on to this stock is the question. We have to be definitely very careful because we know the way that they actually died that last game and they've oh. actually gotten hit. <laughs> For a similar situation like that, where they were using, you know, um, laser and that actually worked against them, definitely have to be very careful about the uses of the lasers right there. Ooh. Oh, I'm not gonna not take it, but that's looking like a little weird. Yeah, TI. some sus TI for sure. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel a looming threat of Pac-Man's F Smash. Oh, somewhere. You saw that yeah, very, very important tech. This definitely, this looks like, a, or it sounds like a song that you'd probably hear from like. Oh, that cowboy, cowboy beep up. Beep yeah, up I was that was thinking some similar stuff. Definitely some, some great jazz going on right now. But again, it's a lot of the situations where they choose to use um, laser and they die for it. Has to be careful with those situations right there. But it doesn't matter because we have 58%. Yeah, and that was a really clean down tilt. Putting on the damage, we need to see a little bit more of the damage so they can actually take this stock from C. Caleb. And ooh, very nice call out on the roll right there. Not going to kill entirely, but we are in another situation where we're ledge trapping C. Caleb. C. Caleb wants to make sure that they be very careful and it's not going to be... Good Ooh. DI from C. Caleb right there, going far to the right so you couldn't get behind him to get that back here. But still, I feel like that side B that Nexus got, he's got to be feeling himself a little bit. And wow, dying just like C. Caleb did on the first duck. That jump fair is not safe against the up smash of Falco. Good stuff from Nexus. Absolutely. That was very nice. A little bit of questionable things, you know, like to question a little something, but definitely still took that game victoriously well, period. And that is going to be C. Caleb moving on to losers. Yeah, especially for Nexus, you know, that F Smash game three, a lot of players could feel like really tilted after getting hit by that, you know, losing a lead to such a good move as in uh, Pac-Man's F Smash, but uh, kept it together and really managed to run away once you got that jump fair read. Absolutely, and we're just seeing one of those situations again. Ooh. And the up smash call out definitely been very good on those calls right there, but.